Hi guys. Well, I want to give you some tips about adding baby hair. So as you know, I'm working on this wig. I finished it. And one of the things that I wanted to do is add baby hair because I'm going to be taping it down. So I'm going to show you what I did so far and then I'm going to give you my tip. So, since this whole middle section is all uh, single strands, double knotted, I decided to start adding the baby hair with single strands and just single knotted. So, this is what I did so far on both sides. I did basically the four by four radius. So it's probably like maybe four to five inches across. So I want to know if you can tell the difference. Now this baby hair is single strand, single knotted. And then from here back, you can kind of tell the demarcation line. It's all single strand, double knotted. So can you really tell the difference between single knots and double knots? Look real close. I can't, I can't tell the difference between single strands and double knots. But I decided to go ahead and just single strand the baby hair. So what I want to point out is that The side is all the way down. It's probably uh, two and three strands double knotted. So where I stopped here, the reason why I stopped is before you can add baby hair, you have to create a couple rows of single strands. So then, so it will blend in with the baby hair because you don't want to go just from you know, large knots into just single strands of baby hair because if you ever pull it back to wear in a high ponytail, you'll be able to see that. You'll definitely be able to see that. So all this is single strands. So if I were to pull it back, see how smooth I'll get a really nice smooth transition from the baby hair to the single strands. So right here, I'm going to, I'm taking some time and I'm adding a row of single strands. So I'll show you what it looks like after you add the single strands. This is pretty much, I've added single strands from here all the way down to make that smooth transition into the baby hair. I may add a little more, but I'm kind of pretty pleased with how it looks. So I will probably just um, keep it like that. So, and just go ahead and, and start the baby hair. So as you can see, and the pattern that I'm doing, I was going to try to skip like every three rows, but it was just too spaced out. So I'm just kind of just randomly going in and just kind of just putting the baby hair just, you know, randomly, just picking holes and randomly spacing it out. So it's looking good. I did the front. So this is pretty much how the front is going to look. And because it's like holes in the canvas, it looks, you know, like it's really like there's knots there, but it's not because this is all just single strand and single knotted. And I'm gonna seal this after I'm all done. And um, I'll make a video of me sealing it so you can I can show you how lightly I apply the Easy Tab because with the Easy Tab, I apply it on my finger first and then I rub it onto underneath the lace because I don't want any clumps or anything. Okay, so uh, that's my tip. Thank you for watching.